when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor. You're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I reclaim Mr. my Chairman, time. Objection. I reclaim my time. MT Jesus Christ, is she still doing this shit? I mean, what a shit show. M- Mr. Chairman of order. Just in terms of the rules of decorum, are we allowed to deny that a doctor is a doctor just because we don't want him to be a doctor? Yes, because in my time, that man does not deserve to have a license. As a matter of fact, it should be revoked, and he belongs in Generally prison. Suspend. This is an entitled conspiracy theory-wielding Facebook mom just throwing garbage at one of the most distinguished and knowledgeable doctors in our nation, probably in the world. Did Fauci get some things wrong? Yes. Was he trying to do so to isolate our children? Because that fits a Republican talking point that is very convenient for them as they continue to scaremonger the American public, as they always do, rather than ever having any sort of legislation of any benefit to anybody or any sort of agenda that actually includes policy positions that might improve our lives. Of course, that's what they're doing. Distract, lie, propagate conspiracy theories that they found on some back channel on 4chan and decided that it was fact because they want it to be fact because it's convenient for them politically. No Uh, decorum. You know what? We can do that hearing about the poor men that were injected with syphilis because I support you in that. I'm really happy for the Alex Jones fan base that they have somebody in Congress fighting hard for them and of Of course, by fighting hard, I mean not fighting hard for them, but instead just shouting the garbage that they believe because they'd rather turn our country into a circus than, say, advance us towards solving any of the many problems we face. I mean, what childish games to not call the man a doctor when he's a doctor. And I've instructed her to address him as a doctor. I'm not addressing him as doctor. Are you two? Are you two years old to scream at him a bunch of accusations and then say I don't need his answer? Just go on your Facebook or Twitter page then and scream if you'd like. You don't need to do it in front of the person who's there testifying, do you? But Congress, Karen, was not done there. But yet children, children all over America were forced to wear masks. Healthy children forced to wear masks muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced to learn from home because of your so-called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from Big Pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be cr- prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison. Dr. Fauci. Oh my gosh, we really should lock him up. She makes great points. He did encourage people to wear masks during a pandemic. And look, it's a little shady for sure that there was that email where he said that masks didn't help that much, the regular masks you buy at grocery stores, but I understand it's different kind of droplets and maybe in the end it came out that the masks were not helpful or not very helpful in stopping the spread of COVID particularly, and they were annoying to wear and society did get all, all about them. But the point being, he was trying, along with the rest of his team from the National Institute of Health was trying to protect people as best they could. It was a brand new virus. It was fast moving. And they were making suggestions to try to help people. They did help people. And to continually demonize as though there was some great plan to make your child not get to look other children in the face because this was the plan all along to create the virus and leak it so that kids don't have to go to school, which is every kid's dream, by the way, is just absurd. It's based in no fact. And it's exactly what Marjorie Taylor Greene and all of her angry, rabid, conspiracy, throwing cohorts in Congress love to do. Why was it so important the virus not have started in a lab? It wasn't so important that the virus not. We don't know. We well, know it was important to someone in the Biden administration, so much so that the top people at Meta, the top people at Facebook are asking, why are we getting all this pressure to, to, to downplay the lab leak theory? And we have an email from June of the same year, yeah. June 4th, 2021, saying the same thing. It was certainly important to somebody. Well, it, what has that got to do with me? 
I'm asking you because you're the expert on the coronavirus. I'm saying why was the administration emails? why was the administration so pushing not to have the lab leak theory as something that was viable? I can answer that I've kept an open mind throughout the entire process. You kept process. an open mind, Dr. Fauci, open mind. That um, is correct. They're not there to legislate. They're there to make headlines. They are there to toss fire at people based in nothing. Fauci is not some criminal mastermind. Did he make mistakes? Sure. Does everybody make mistakes? Yes, they do. Is it better to not make mistakes? Obviously. Is he trying to kill people? No. People spreading misinformation are. People saying maybe you should inject bleach because the former idiotic president wanted to chime in with medical stuff he made up. That's what's dangerous. That's what you should be outraged about. Not people doing their best after a lifetime of work, starting from combating the AIDS epidemic to trying to help fewer Americans die, despite the hundreds of thousands of lives that were unnecessarily lost, as was pointed out even by Trump's own appointee. Do you agree that there was a push to downplay the lab leak theory? Not on my part. Really? Really? Wow. Wow. I think I think most of the country would find that find that amazing. I still got eleven seconds. We got well, look at the facts. I've kept an open mind throughout the entire process. All right, I yield back. But uh, facts don't matter. So, yeah, Fauci should be locked up, Mr. Fauci. That is. I will not call the doctor doctor, and I will not allow facts to rule the day here. This is Congress, not some sort of court of law. You're out of order. Who? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself at this point. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. You can follow me at Ben Glebe on Instagram.